If you're installing the performance upholstery package, the first part of this video in which we install the power hub does not apply to you. If you're installing the Supreme upholstery package, the first thing we're going to do is align the power hub with the four screws on the back of the crossbar with the cord facing to the right and then install the four screws to secure it. Okay, then we need to carefully remove the bundled um, power cord from the pocket and we can remove the wire tie there. Then we're going to place it right back in that pocket and pulling out just enough cable to reach over to that power hub. Then we can uh, run that plug through the two cable guides. Okay, then we can remove the packaging that secures that plug and plug it into the left hand socket. Okay, then we want to close that pocket up, keep the cord nice and neat under there, just securing that with the hook and loop fasteners. And then we can remove the tie from the transformer. Then we'll plug that into the right hand socket and then feed the end of that cable up through the one cable tie and then push it through the little hole in the canvas. We need to be able to pull that through to the other side. Okay, then we can return the chair to the upright position. and open up the um, canvas flap there to give us better access to pull that cable all the way through. Okay, then we can pull the canvas tight and close that flap. Locate the arm cap screws and screwdriver. Then we're ready to lower the recline controller guard into position, lining up those uh, shapes there. Then we can remove the tie from the uh, control panel. Then we're ready to center that control panel over the wood arm. Note if you're installing the performance upholstery package your control panel looks slightly different. And then while holding those two items in place making sure they don't shift we can lower the arm cap over them and press it firmly into position on the arm core. Okay, and we're ready to secure the arm caps um, with two screws in the front.
and then one screw in the back. Next we need to do a little cable management. So first we'll remove the screw that secures the glide rail safety tip. Then we'll align the loops on the control panel cable with that screw hole and then replace the screw. This just keeps that control panel cable neatly out of the way. Next we'll install the right hand arm cap using the remaining three arm cap screws. Okay, next we need to plug the chair in so that we can use the controller to recline the chair and raise the footrest. This just makes it easier to install the body pad. Note the pocket on the footrest portion of the body pad. It's important to install the footrest frame into that pocket as far as it will go. Okay, then we'll fold the upper part of the body pad forward to give us room to work with the cables. First, we need to remove any packaging that covers the connectors. Now, if you're installing the performance upholstery package, you'll have fewer connectors here. You'll just have uh, one set of connectors. And then we can match the connectors to the corresponding connectors from the uh, control panel, uh, and they're all color coded. So match uh, black to black, or if you're installing the Supreme upholstery package, you'll also match yellow to yellow and red to red. Okay, then we can position the strain relief on each cable inside the matching socket. And then snap the connector box cover on to lock it. You'll, you'll hear that snap. Okay, once that's secure, we can just tuck that into the chair canvas out of the way. Next, we need to install batteries 
uh, to support the lumbar system. So first we'll open up that pocket and remove the little pink square. And then we're going to tip the left hand side of the uh, battery box. We're going to pull up on that to remove that from the pad set. We don't want to pull up on the right hand side because there's cabling there and we don't want to pull that cabling out. And you can see there's a screw on one side. We need to remove that screw. If you can't see it, just rotate the box like so. Uh, and then use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove that screw. And we can slide that battery box cover off and install our four AA alkaline batteries. Okay, then we can slide that battery box cover back on and replace the screw to secure it. Now, very importantly, the next step is we need to find the on off switch on the opposite side and turn that to on. And then we can tuck that box back into the pad in the same way, keeping that, making sure we don't strain that wiring. Get it tucked in there. And then we'll replace that uh, pink square over it. And close up the pocket. Next, we're ready to slide the headrest pad onto the top of the chair frame. Now, if you're installing the performance upholstery package, you won't have that flap. Uh, so this next part only applies to Supreme upholstery package. We need to wrap the straps around the backrest and attach them tautly, not too tight. If it's too tight, there's going to be wrinkles you don't like on the back. And then we can pull up on the body pad and pull it toward the backrest to, to as far as it can go and then um, secure it. The hook and loop fasteners will secure it to the chair. And then we can um, detach the flap on the top of the body pad. And then smooth that pad into position, pushing down on it again so the hook and loop fasteners attach. Then we can tuck that flap up into the headrest pad, making sure it's nice and flat. And then push down on the front of the headrest pad to secure it. All right, now we can lower the footrest and return the backrest to the upright position. If you're installing the Supreme upholstery package, we need to tip the chair forward one more time to secure the bottom of that um, backrest cover. So to do that, we use the hook and loop fasteners and the strap on the bottom, wrap it around the cable guide there, and then attach the strap back to itself. You may have either a horizontal or vertical cable guide there. And again, not too tightly. And then return the chair to the upright position. Then we can place the head pillow and you'll note the head pillow attaches itself to the back of the chair using a magnet, which makes it easy to adjust. And we're done.